today I'm going to be taking you a little bit behind the scenes and showing you how we prepare our duck breast in the restaurant. You are a very specific way. I tested this duck over the course of uh, many years of cooking and this is my favorite way to prepare it that we get the best results. Um, we get our ducks in whole and fresh. I mean, you don't want to get the breasts kind of like cryovacked and waterlogged because then there's excess water inside the fat and inside the skin, um, leaving you a, a lesser result. Actually, there was a competition that I did once, a culinary competition, and what happened was um, I got my duck breasts in cryovac bags. I asked for them to be uh, fresh and uh, whole, but I, this was in Milan, Italy, um, for like a world competition, which kind of sucked. Um, but I thought that it would happen, so I brought uh, blow dry and I had my commies, my, uh, my helpers, blow dry the duck for the first like three hours of the competition. I only had like four hours. Um, so I had them blow dry it just to like dry off the skin as much as possible so you can get the best, crispiest result. Um, it was unfortunate, but uh, that happens. Sometimes you have to go with the flow. So we get the ducks in, we brine them first. Um, so that's a sugar and a salt solution um, that flavors the meat and seasons it as well. As you can see, it's a little bit discolored. Uh, it's a little bit darker. That's because we smoke it and we dip it in a master stock, which is like a flavorful broth um, that's like salty and sweet. That does that initially seizes up the skin, gets a little bit of moisture out of the skin from boiling it like you would if you were to boil meat. Kind of makes things more dry. Makes the skin seize up and get tight around it, and then that helps for the drying process. Then we hang it to dry. About three weeks, we usually dry our dress for about four weeks on the crown. It makes the skin go extra crispy and crunchy. You can just feel it pop and the texture in your mouth, and it makes it tender and flavorful. All right, so here we have our breast. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker in color from the master stock dipping, um, and it's also really dry. Uh, tenderloin still on it, and then yeah, as you can see underneath, we got that bright pink color and the fat. So the fat's dried out. The duck, so what we do is we take off the tenderloin. The silver skin here, so we're just part off. You wanna make sure that your, your duck is tempered. You don't wanna cook it from cold. Um, that way it'll cook more evenly. So we're gonna cook it from like room temperature and it's gonna come up all together all perfectly. So my favorite, um, kind of pan to cook duck in that I find that makes the crispiest skin and the better, best result is a cast iron pan. Um, you don't actually put any fat in the bottom of it, you just let the fat render out from the skin. Um, so we're gonna put it on the heat and we're gonna put it on full. So we're gonna get this cast iron like ripping hot until it's like pretty much like smoking. Okay? I like to put it in this way because it makes the skin crisp up and seize up and start that initial uh, cook. Um, makes the skin extra crispy, I find, personally. Um, there's a little bit of sugar in the brine and in the master stock dipping. Um, so if you aren't careful, you can get it to caramelize and the skin can look a little bit burnt, but it's just the sugar is caramelizing. So you have to be very careful when you do this that you don't cook it on high for too long. As you can see, we're smoking a little bit now. So take it off of the heat completely, like that. And then I'm just gonna put it in the pan and press it. So there's no fat in the pan. I'm just using and waiting for the fat to render out of the skin. Let's cook it like this and we press it um, so it cooks evenly and it makes a flat skin duck. So now that we've, uh, you can see some of the fats rendering out, the sizzling, we're going to turn our burner to low and then we're just going to let it go slowly. So usually you'd render the duck breast a lot longer to get that layer of fat to shrink and to and to cook it out and make the skin crispy but, but because we've dry aged it, a lot of that moisture in the fat and then the skin has come out, so we're gonna get crispy skin and we don't have to cook it for as long. Also, the fat will kind of be like, almost like prosciutto fat. So it's like seasoned, it's flavorful, but it's also like nice and tender. This is our, uh, as you can see, once we flip it over, the breast is getting nice and golden brown and it's flat and nice, beautiful. So we're just gonna keep cooking it out like this. You see the fat bubbling right there. That's like the perfect temperature, really low. All right, so now we're almost there. Golden brown. It's getting perfectly cooked around here, crispy skin. We're gonna take it, we're just gonna sear these sides a little bit, and then we're gonna flip it back. Some garlic and some herbs. And then we're gonna add our butter. Once the milk solids and the fat heat up, 
It's actually going to caramelize the skin and make it an even better golden brown color. And then we're just gonna baste the duck. There's flow of heat coming all around the duck. Now we're gonna take the duck off. Rest. All right, so now we have our duck breast here. It's been rested. Cooked a perfect uh, lemur. Nice. Uh, now we're gonna slice into the duck. Yeah, so you can see there's all that juicy fat right there and out of that pocket there. Beautiful duck breast, nice flavorful, perfectly cooked, pink throughout. I'm gonna do a little muck banging for you now, show off the duck, maybe it'll sound. Mm, so good, it's like perfectly cooked, crispy skin, beautiful. That's our duck here at East Restaurant, so. Now you know how to make it. Don't tell anybody, keep the secret. Very low key. Uh, don't wanna pass that off to too many people. Uh, thanks for watching. You recording? Yeah. Oh, it's up to the camera. Hey camera. What up mom? Love you. Wow. Are you shirtless? Yeah, I'm always shirtless. You're always shirtless, all right. Very different, uh, different, uh, different dish. Um, so